So I did decide to go ahead and install that last drive belt I made. It was a little bit more narrow and it fits really, really well here on the uh, Xena 5S29. You can see it installed. A quick shout out to Paul at Mr. Carlson's lab. I followed his techniques here for uh, doing the uh, soldering here back to the tuning uh, condenser. And I tell you what, it worked uh, perfect. So Paul, if you're uh, watching, thanks so much there for sharing that tip. Here's one last look at those uh, washers that I fabricated here mounted to the tuning condenser. Um, again, the old ones there that I'm showing just dry rotted away and not, uh, not worth anything. So they were discarded after just getting some general uh, measurements. Uh, the ones I fabricated again turned out uh, really, really well. This is all the hardware that I de-rusted. Again, I like to try to salvage everything that I can. So uh, here I am affixing the uh, tuning condenser back to the chassis. And an underneath shot here where I'm um, using the uh, washers and all the mounting hardware that I got cleaned up. So this thing went back together uh, really well. It was simple. You just got the three posts there and uh, got everything back attached and uh, it's looking good. Here in the picture in picture that I'm showing, you can see now the stability of the tuning condenser before it would bottom out metal to metal uh, just due to the uh, dry rotted uh, washers that were in place. Um, here I'm just tuning through uh, the band just a little bit, demoing the uh, new drive belt here for the radio, which turned out well. In addition, I went on and spent time kind of cleaning up underneath these patterns. This is where the pieces of mica go that still need to be cleaned up and just use some alcohol there to get that all cleaned up and get it uh, ready for the uh, future installation of the mica pieces. So here are just a few remaining shots now of the top side of the uh, chassis, looking at it from the front side. Again, it cleaned up well. And this is the uh, tuning condenser back in again from the side. And another view here from the rear. And uh, seems to be uh, tracking well uh, mechanically. I'll still do some uh, lubrication and grease on that as well. I did not do that uh, prior to um, actually placing it on the chassis itself. So a little work there to do. I did not uh, have time to do the electrical tie-in. I'll show that on a future video. Uh, just have limited hours today to spend on the uh, restoration. Also, when I left off, I was showing the uh, power transformer. I was using that gel to remove the paint. Probably got 95% of the paint off, and right now I'm just soaking it in uh, vapor rust. Let it work its magic for... Um, a period of days and then we'll come back and see if we can uh, get the rest of the loose paint off and uh, start getting that primed, painted, and start dressing up those uh, leads as well off the uh, transformer. So thanks again for watching folks. Everybody take care. Thanks again for subscribing to my channel.